Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal. Today I have partnered with Cricut to show you guys how to make your own t-shirts, whether you're making them for yourself, a gift, or even to sell. So I want to show you guys using one color of iron-on with multiple colors of t-shirts. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off over here in Cricut Design Space. These are the images that I use today. Such a wide variety, and I think it's gonna be really cool to see all of these in the exact same color on different colored t-shirts. So if you come over here on the right, this is your layers. As you can see, they are all one solid layer. This is definitely what I recommend for a beginner. Now, if you come to images, this is how you can find these. Simply type in t-shirt and you're going to get tons of different t-shirt designs and ideas. So you can do this one way and just kind of scroll through here and see what they have. This cow one here is super cute. There's matching parent and kiddo t-shirts. Um, there's stuff for diabetes, tons of different organizations and stuff like that. Um, as you guys can see here, here's some of the designs that I'm using today. So lots of different stuff to choose from. Now, another way that you can do this is say for example that I was specifically looking for something so say I'm trying to make a senior t-shirt I could just come in and type in senior to see what images they do have for that so that's just a couple different ways that you can search for those to bring it in you're just simply going to click on it and then hit insert images all right, so let's go ahead and head back over to the canvas. And this is what I did right away. So after I've sized them all out, I did about nine inches wide on these or so. And um, I just made sure they were all the exact same color. I changed my machine right away to the Cricut Explorer 3 because that is the model I'm using today. And then I went ahead and saved my project. I always recommend that you do this right away just in case anything happens or if you wanna access these again later. So I'm going to go ahead and save this just like so. And then once we've got this saved, we are going to be ready to cut it out. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and hit make it. Now, because I'm using the Cricut Explorer 3 today, I can actually cut this without the mat with one long sheet. So as you guys can see here, it's going to cut in one cut. That's what I'm loving about the Cricut Explorer 3 and Maker 3 is I can do this without loading multiple mats over and over again. I can definitely do this all in one cut. So as you guys can see them here, you can actually, so you want to mirror them right away because it's HTV iron on. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and rotate these. So you don't have to leave them in the order that they're there. You could definitely still play around with them right here. And if you want to save as much material as you want to, definitely feel free to move these around until you're happy with them to save as much material as you can. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around with these and scoot them up as much as I can. So as you guys can see already how much material I have saved just by moving those around. On your left hand side, this is where you can see your material size. So you wanna make sure you at least have this much material to go inside of your machine. You can also add multiple copies if you would like. All right, so let's go ahead and hit continue. From here, we're gonna go ahead and choose our material, which is Smart Iron On. You can do it here or hit Browse Materials, type in Smart, and you're gonna get all of those options pop up right here. So from here, you can choose the exact one that you're looking for. So today we're using Smart Iron On. You can click the star right here to add it to your favorites. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Done, and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and head on over to the craft table and see what we're using today. So today I'm using my Cricut Easy Press. This is the nine by nine. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on 315 for 30 seconds. So here is my Smart Iron On. You can get this in several different lengths. So today this one right here is 13 by nine foot. It looks just like so. All right, so we're using this material along with multiple t-shirts. I also have the Cricut pad that is for the Cricut Easy Press ready to go. So let's go ahead and open this up and head on over to the Cricut Explore 3. Now today I am using the roll holder. This is gonna really help hold this roll and keep it together while the machine is cutting everything out. So you're just simply going to feed it right underneath here and then you're just gonna make sure it goes underneath those two white feet just like so and hold it right up against that bar and then you're just going to load it into the machine. So this machine has sensors and it's definitely going to roll it all the way in just so it knows it has enough material before you get started. This is nice so that way you don't accidentally you know, get started and you you don't have enough material. So the machine is going to go ahead and quickly cut everything out for us. It's going to go ahead and move in and out. And then once we are done, we're just going to go ahead and scoot the roll holder back just a little bit and then slide this down and trim it away and then move this out of the way. 
From there, we could go ahead and hit the unload button and you're gonna see all this material get fed back through here. You definitely wanna make sure this is away from a wall so it has enough room to work with. So as you guys can see here, this is such a long cut. I didn't have to load multiple mats, which is super nice. Now I could cut these down individually and weed them, but I'm just gonna weed them all together just to show you, you could do that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start right up here at a corner and quickly peel all of this away. Now, once again, you definitely could just trim this down and do all of this stuff individually, but um, it does make it a little bit faster to kind of weed it like this first and then go through and get all of those intricate pieces. So as you guys can see here, it's super easy to weed out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start from one and work myself all the way over to the left side. Now, when it comes to beginner projects, I would steer away from some of these really intricate um, pieces as it does take a long time to weed, but the end process, the end result is definitely beautiful. So do highly recommend them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly trim all of these down just like so. And I also love how different all of these are, different styles. So as you guys can see here, they came out super nice. All right, so now we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and scoot all of these out of the way and prep up our t-shirts. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my pad here as well as my heated up Cricut Easy Press. You always wanna heat that up and have it going before you get started so that way it's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll every single one of my t-shirts. You wanna do that first, then pull out your moisture. So this is not only pulling out our moisture, this is also smoothing out any wrinkles and things like that. Next up, we are ready to add on our design. For the first one, I'm doing a tone on tone. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's really cool. So I'm doing a black iron on on a black t-shirt and it looks super awesome. You can also do this white on white, um, tan on tan, whatever you would like to do. It's just really neat. So definitely recommend you guys try this out. So our first t-shirt is a black on black, and then you're just gonna go ahead and peel this away. This is a warm peel. So you guys can see how cool this came out. It's like a matte look on here. Um, it's just really neat. So as you guys can see, this is a super intricate design, but the Cricut handled it very well. Moving on to our next t-shirt, we're doing this red. I'm gonna go ahead and remove any moisture. The thing about red t-shirts is, you can see how it changed the color. That will go away. I know that panics a lot of people. That is just the moisture inside of the t-shirt and you can really see it with the red ones. Now we're using this super simple design, but even simple designs like this look super awesome on t-shirts. This almost kind of reminds me of like a baseball tee theme, so I really like it. This would be great for a used baseball team. You could definitely design all of their t-shirts with this. It'd be super cute. All right, so I am ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and lift this up. Once again, this is a warm pill, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this away. But look at how super cute this is. Very simple design on that red, it looks amazing. So as you guys can see here, it went on the t-shirt very well. Um, so let's go ahead and move this one out of our way and go on to the next. This one, we're gonna do a gray t-shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll, and then we're going to pull out that moisture, and we are going to smooth out those wrinkles once again. Yeah. Now, if you're looking for the center of the design, you can fold it in half just like so and pinch it. What you're doing is you're bringing it down where that tag is on the t-shirt, right in the center of that, around three fingers or so. Now, sometimes you may have to press it twice. So for example, this design right here, I'm pressing half and half, and that's totally okay. So you wanna do full on each side. So full temp and full time on each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this away and look at how cool this one looks. I really love this design as well. So go ahead and bring that up here so you guys can see. All right, next one here. This is one of my favorite designs. This is a blue t-shirt. Now this one as well, you can kind of see some of that moisture come through. So I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that out, pull out that moisture, and then we are ready to get our design. Now this one is really neat. I really love this design. You can do it in both ways. Um, I think it would be cool either way. So I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that, find that center, and we're gonna get it on here just like so. Now, once again with this one, this is a design that I'm gonna need to press it two different times, and that is okay. So I'm setting it on there just to see and look on each side to say, okay, is it hanging off anywhere? Because you definitely don't wanna miss any spots when it comes to iron-on or you can get peeling. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the other side just like so, and we're gonna let it cool down just a little bit and peel it. If you're ever struggling with your peeling and you notice it starts to peel up, just let it cool down just a little bit and then peel. 
So there you have it. So let's go ahead and move on to our last t-shirt. Now for this last t-shirt, we are actually gonna be using the Cricut brand t-shirts. These are for infusible ink, but you can also use them with iron-on. I love these t-shirts, they're raglan. They would be perfect with a pair of Converse. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just line this up here, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna remove any lint, as well as the moisture and smooth out our t-shirt. So like I said, keep in mind with these t-shirts, um, they are great for iron-on as well. They're definitely super nice quality. And what's awesome is you can find them locally inside of Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and even Walmart. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and line this up just like so. And then we're, I'm going to get it at an angle. And that way it covers everything. So if you kind of angle it a little bit sometimes on designs, that works too. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that cool down for a second and peel. I really love the way that this design came out too. All of these t-shirts I made for my daughter and she was so excited. So I really love, you see those eyelashes and that design, super cool. So what I'm doing here is Cricut recommends that you flip the t-shirt over and you press it again for 15 seconds. Now I have done this for all the t-shirts. I just did one at the end so I didn't have to waste a lot of time showing you guys. So as you guys can see, this stuff is very movable. It's a great product to use on t-shirts. So there you have it. We have all of these different designs, same color of iron-on. We were able to do it in one cut. We did all out together different colored t-shirts, different designs, and look at how different this is. Whether you're making it for yourself, a gift, or selling these, this is such a super easy project as well as a fun one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.